today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at the poison frog. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. What is a poison frog? Don't you mean poison dart frog? Yes, in fact, I do. But we're still a hop, skip, and a jump away from the end of this video. Poison frogs are found in Central and South American tropical forests. They tend to live on the forest floor, although a few species do live in the forest canopy. Because they're amphibians and need to remain relatively moist, they stay near sources of water such as creeks and ponds. Unlike most frog species, they are actually diurnal, meaning they're more active during the day. This is important to note because it's actually part of the reason they have evolved to broadcast such an array of colors. What purpose would those colors serve if no one could see them? Here are some examples of just how many variants there are. There are around 170 known species, which means plenty of potential for colors and patterns. What's more, these colors are a major reason poison frogs have been a widely owned pet species. Yes, even you could potentially have your own death machine right in the comfort of your own home. No, I'm, I'm totally kidding. Nearly all poison frogs that are kept as pets are actually not poisonous. What? I'm just blowing all the minds this episode. Yep, the toxicity of a poison frog depends solely on what they eat. Own frogs are usually fed things like crickets, mealworms, frog pellets, but wild frogs have access to some crazy things. Those crazy things are what make the frogs poisonous. Insects that are toxic themselves, such as centipedes, millipedes, beetles, and ants, are all on the wild poison frog's menu, and the toxins of those insects are transferred to the frog. Without the toxic bugs, there can't be toxic frogs. Wild frogs that are captured and kept can even lose all their toxicity over time. In the wild, poison frogs can live up to 15 years, and in captivity, they can live even longer. Their only known predator is a snake that's immune to their poison. When it comes to mating, the females are actually more competitive than the males. Eggs are laid on leaves or in safe places in the undergrowth of the forest in clutches of 1 to 30, depending on the species. Once the eggs are ready to hatch, a lot of poison frog parents will actually carry the tiny tadpoles on their back to the nearest water source. Mothers will return to feed the tadpoles unfertilized eggs in order to pass on the poison. I think one of my favorite pieces of information I came across about these creatures is that some mothers, depending on the species of course, will even separate each baby into a different water source and bring them eggs individually because, if she didn't, territorial instinct might take over and the little ones may end up eating each other. Talk about motherly love. Poison frogs are tiny, but don't let that size fool you. The most lethal of the poison frogs, the golden poison frog, is potent enough to kill 10 full-grown men. This frog is actually one of three species used by the indigenous peoples of Colombia to tip their projectiles darts. Ah, you're seeing the connection now. Poison frogs are commonly called poison dart frogs because they serve this purpose. But it's like I said, only three species out of over 170 are used in this way. That's why it's far more appropriate to call them poison frogs, as opposed to poison dart frogs. However, I feel I must point out, there are also poisonous frogs that are not part of the poison frog family to which I'm referring. The pickerel frog, which is the only poisonous frog that can be found in North America, is no relation to the poison frogs I'm talking about. Sometimes science just isn't very organized with naming. Recently, research of poison frogs has led to the discovery of a painkiller that is up to 200 times more effective than morphine without the side effects. Other uses of the frog's secretions could include help for people with certain heart or circulatory conditions as well as muscle relaxants. Thankfully, most species of poison frogs are thriving and are placed on the least threatened list. For more information on the poison frog, feel free to browse through my citations in the description below. Let me know which animal you'd like to see next in the comments. Thank you for watching and be sure to give a thumbs up for more animal fact files.